Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a uh, shop open when you touch a pot. So let's get right into it. So first, firstly, you want to um, uh, have the uh, explorer and the uh, properties open, which you can find up here if you press view and you uh, can disable and enable these two. So you got to have the explorer and properties, and then. What you want to go do, do then is you want to go to home, add a pot, and this this one will be uh, the one that you like uh, touch uh, to open. So you can customize it however you want. I am just going to make it like a uh, uh, blue, and uh, and the, here's the important part. So you gotta uh, go down here and go to collision, turn off can collide. Because then you'll be able to walk walk into it, and uh, and end you have to turn on anchored. Um, and now you you gonna you want to name this part um, open shop part, and then you want to um, go into start a GUI, add in a screen GUI. Uh, and then you can you can uh, name this uh, shop GUI, and then you add a frame into it. And now you can this is the shop. You can customize it however you want to. But I'm just gonna make it real quick. So I'm just gonna make that make it like blue, and then um, and then I'm gonna add a text label. Do that. Do that and text scale and then just do shop so this is gonna be my shop and then what you want to do is you want to uh, press frame again and you want to add a button and text button and then you wanna put it right here in the corner uh, you can make it like uh, red if you want to uh, there we go like red and then um you go down here make sure you put text scaled on because that will make it so that the text is uh scaled to the like background so it doesn't it's so it's not too small or something then you go to text and you can uh, do a, like te x and then you have this so you should be able to click on it nothing will happen yet because we haven't uh, scripted anything then you want to press on the text button, add a local script, and it's really important that you uh, add a local script to it and not a normal script because otherwise it won't work. Um, and um, then you want to type this. So script dot parent uh, dot mouse button one click colon connect function. So this will run a function when you click the button. Um, and then uh, you want to uh, do script dot parent dot parent. So now we're f now we're finding the frame, and then dot visible equals the false. Uh, now you can close you can close this off, and uh, you can try it out. So uh, press play, uh, and then you can press this, and then it closes. And now we gotta make it so that the um, so that when you when you touch this uh, the frame opens again so then you wanna close this off and you want to add a script in here and uh, you can uh, rename it open shop script it's not that important that you do that but yeah and then you wanna uh, type this so local part uh, and then it's equal to so now you want to find the pot and game dot workspace dot open shop pot and you want to make sure it's the same as this one uh, and also you can go to the frame and put the visible to false uh, there so it won't annoy you when you're looking around so it should uh, be the same as this one and then you go down, so you go down to and go down two lines, and then you uh, uh, 
right part dot touched colon connect function hit um and then also up here you want to type local player is equal to game dot players dot local player so now we find the player and then we want to find the character so you go type local character character and then you do player dot character um and then what you want to do so if hit dot parent um there we go and so now we check that if if the th if the thing that um, uh, hit the part is the character, then we want uh, the uh, shop to close to open. So we do script dot parent dot shop gui dot frame dot visible equals to true. So now we can test it out. You can close up the script you can play and then um oh there there it is i just gotta run to it real quick and once i touch this part um i should the frame should open so and there we go and it opens and you can close it and um yeah as you can see it works uh if you if you uh, don't want it to um, like open instantly, you want like a little cool down, you can go down a line. This is not needed, by the way. So um, you can type local dbounds uh, equals to false. Um, and then you can, uh, you, you go here and then you type and dbounds equals to equals to false then uh go down my line here and do d bounds equals to true and then oh and then you do wait and this is how long you want the cooldown to be so i'm gonna put point point two seconds oh. um oh uh, see a point two and then you go down the line then you type debounce equals to false again so now uh if i just do play here so i don't have to run that on and then when i open it i can't spam open it um so it waits 0 0.2 seconds but if you want the, the cooldown to be longer you can you can do i'm just going to demonstrate so i'm going to put two so make sure it works so uh, you do this and you cannot open it and then until two seconds again so yeah that's the tutorial uh if you um if you uh, liked it you can uh, maybe like and subscribe <laughs> it really appreciates i really appreciate it and um so the reason i'm doing this again is because on my last video that i on my I, I i have done this video a long time ago like 11 months ago uh but then uh, some people were like having trouble with it and I don't know if it's like because some people said it was that uh, if they put this script so some people um, I think it was that they accidentally put it in the shop GUI and that's why it didn't work but if something doesn't work you can always go to view and press output and then there will be like a red text um, that's saying that some the saying what's what's wrong and you can uh, you can type that in the comments so I can help you with it and uh, and if, if something doesn't work you can just yeah uh, type that in the comments but yeah thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one bye